Yo guys, what's going on? Back with my latest video. Today I'm going to reveal to you guys my top 10 favorite Funko Pops in my personal collection. Um, I know I let my girlfriend Ariel show you guys her top 10 in my collection early this week. If you've not already checked that video out, please check it out. I'll link it up above. Um, she's got some interesting picks, so check that out as well. Um, but I figured, it's, you know, why not follow that up with my top 10 in my collection so you guys can see what those would be. Um, again, they're not always the most valuable. You know, I like what I like. Um, so please let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about them, and let's get right into it. Here we go. Alright guys, so at the number 10 spot we have one of my favorite rappers of all time, and also one of those iconic figures in pop culture of all time as well. We have the Notorious B.I.G. This is the Toy Tokyo exclusive. B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls. Um, really, really nice pop. I like this one of the three variations they did this year or this past year, 2018, the most. Um, not just because it's exclusive, but I feel like they nailed it on the head of um, the image of Biggie. The one in the back with the crown, the black one with the crown, is is good as well. Um, but to me, this has all the elements involved with the other two pops with the sunglasses and the crown as well and also the cane. It's a very iconic image of Biggie. I feel like they hit this one on the head and this is the number 10 pop in my collection. Really, really dope pop to me. Put down in the comment section, Biggie and Tupac. For me, it's always been Biggie. So please, uh, so here you go. Number 10 on my collection, Notorious B.I.G. from Toy Tokyo. All right guys, so at number nine, we have another iconic figure in my life. Um, I actually started YouTube years ago, uh, a sneaker channel, so this is my second time around actually doing YouTube. Um, but this one was really fitting and definitely deserved a spot in my top 10. It is Michael Jordan. Um, like I said, Michael Jordan to me is the greatest of all time. Um, I own more pairs of Jordans than I care to admit. <laughs> and uh, Michael Jordan to me, like I said, is, one of, is the best basketball player of all time. And uh, they definitely did a good job with this pop. Um, I think if I had the Fanatics version with the, the black jersey, it, that may have beat this one out a little bit. But for now, the, the rookie Michael Jordan, or in the Jordan 1s, it's got to be the best Jordan variation that I have in my collection for now. Um, like I said, an iconic figure. Um, one that I saw when it dropped, I had to have. Um, this was a no-brainer that added collection. And a dope-looking pop right there. Number nine, you got the Michael Jordan. This is the Target exclusive rookie version of Michael Jordan. So there you go. All right, guys, so number eight, this might be a little bit of a shocker for some because I've never seen this one on anybody's top anything list. Um, but to me, it is. Um, the reason why I got into Funko Pops was the Dragon Ball Z Pops, and that's because they remind me of my childhood, and that's what a lot of the Pops I have, I have, um, or for nostalgic reasons. And this one definitely brings back childhood memories to me. This is the Invader Zim with Gurr on the pig. I don't know if anybody's ever checked this show out on Nickelodeon, but this was my favorite show on Nickelodeon growing up was Invader Zim. And to me, um, this is the only Invader Zim pop I have for some reason. I do want to get more, I just never come across any. Um, but I did get this one. Um, this is Zim when he's riding this uh, pig spaceship. And you got Gurr up there. I don't know if you can see him or not, but riding on the back or on actually on the Sims and Nintendo. So this show, I was really sad that they got canceled back when I was a kid. This was one of the funniest, one of the greatest shows Nickelodeon's ever produced. And the pop definitely looks really nice. Um, it's almost like three pops in one. You have the pig, Zim, and also Gurr at the top. Um, so three pops in one. Um, it really epitomizes uh, what happened in the show and just brings back so many memories. So. Zim, uh, Gurr, and the Pig at number eight for me in my Funko Pop collection. All right, guys, so at number seven, this is another one I picked up not too long ago, um, but it's one of the best executed pops that I think I have in my collection. Um, this is the Sorcerer Mickey movie moment. Um, so this one I had in a box for the longest, um, but it just doesn't know justice to be in the box. This pop is amazing uh, they did a really good job um the way they captured the waves it looks like they're in motion you have mickey at the top um for anybody that's a disney fan this is a really iconic moment in disney um any everyone's seen this scene before with mickey's directing the waves in fantasia and i think they did a really good job with capturing that in this pop um 
this one's still available, I think. I don't know whatever reason this one didn't sell out. Um, a lot of the movie moments haven't sold out. I don't know if it's due to the price point, um, due to the size in your collection you would have to keep for it. Um, but to me, they got this one perfect. There's nothing to complain about with this pop. And this, for me, is definitely a number seven in my collection. Um, could even be higher, but there's some other pops I like a little bit more. But this one is great to me. So this is the Sorcerer Mickey uh, movie moment right there at number seven in my collection. All right, guys. So at number six, another pop in my collection that brings back a whole lot of childhood memories and one that also captures an iconic scene in a Disney TV show. Um, so here we go. We have the Scrooge McDuck jumping in a pile of money. So this scene has always been my favorite from Disney where Scrooge jumps into a pile of gold coins, doesn't get hurt and comes out feeling like a million bucks. Um, this Scrooge is definitely uh, one of my favorite pops in my collection. We have it in the number six spot. Um, this is the, uh, I guess that's the 10 inch Scrooge. I know there's a four inch Scrooge, but this one to me, um, it definitely deserves the 10 inch. I actually have this on display downstairs in my, my house um, instead of just actually the display back there. Um, this is a really nice piece to me. Um, they did a really excellent job capturing it. Um, the coins don't look too fake. Screws looks really happy. Um, they got this one down, and this definitely brings back a whole lot of memories. Um, anybody that comes in my house sees this and definitely recognizes it for what it is from that iconic scene. And uh, like I said, it's a, a really well executed pop. So, number six in my collection, you have Scrooge McDuck in the gold coin bag. All right, guys, so number five, this is a pop I actually just got recently. Um, but like I said before, it's one I've been having my eye on for a very long time. Um, so it's already up there in my collection. But number five, we have the Maleficent as a dragon from the Disney parks. Really, really well executed pop. Um, like I said, this is one I've been looking to add for a very long time. And actually, I'm going to open this up because I've never seen it out of box before. Um, so I have it at five for now, um, but maybe... If I unboxed it, it might even move a little bit higher. So let's see how this looks. We'll do this live because I want to see what this looks like out of the box. So if you guys saw my last video with my most expensive pops, this did make the cut. Please check that video out so you can see where it landed on there. But this one is number five in my favorite. Oh yeah. Wow. I might have to keep this out of the box. This is an excellent looking pop. Number five might, might not be serving any justice. Um, they did a really, really good job executing. Um, you know, even as a grown man, Sleeping Beauty to me is one of the most well shot Disney films of all time. It just looks different from the other ones. Um, and Maleficent as a dragon is one of the most iconic Disney characters and villains of all time. Um, I recently started playing Kingdom Hearts again and Maleficent being in there. Um, just brings back some more memories from uh, from this uh, this pop as well. So this pop is dope. Five might not serve as justice. Um, this is another, I guess it's a six inch pop. Um, really, really nice, really, really well executed. Um, you can't beat um, Disney pops to me. I mean, not, between Disney, Dragon Ball Z, and My Hero Academia, that's pretty much what I collect the most. And this is definitely a Disney grill for me and number five in my collection. So there you go, the Maleficent Dragon at number five. All right, guys, so at number four, we have our first Dragon Ball Z entry, which is pretty crazy. I thought there'd be a lot more when I compiled this list. Um, but at number four, we have Majin Vegeta. Um, the reason why I chose this pop is not just because of the value, um, but because it's autographed. And also, I think the pop is really well executed. Um, this is the first pop I think they did with actually having... Uh, like the battle scars from the fights that they had on Dragon Ball Z. And I just think they did a really good job with capturing that. Um, but to me, it's pretty significant to me, just like I said, because it's autographed. You know, I don't have any other autograph um, pops. I did end up trading that Elvira um, that you guys may have seen me pull in the mystery box. Um, but this one is one I do still have in my collection. And uh, it definitely, definitely means a lot to have. And this one's one I probably would never get rid of. Um, because I do love Dragon Ball Z to have it. this autograph by the voice actor Vegeta is really really dope to me So at number four in my collection we have the Majin Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Alright guys, so at number three we have two Dragon Ball Z pops in a row uh, This is the great ape Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. This is from the New York Comic Con from 2018 
Again, a really well executed pop. This is a six inch pop, which I think they could have done this as a 10 inch would have been even better. Um, but nonetheless, well executed. Um, they definitely captured um, the essence of Vegeta as a great eight on here. Really, really cool looking pop. Um, this is one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z ones I have in my collection. And one I do suggest anybody that's not even in, in the Dragon Ball Z ad because it just looks so nice. So at number three in my collection, we have the Great Eight Vegeta right there. All right, guys. So at number two in my entire Funko Pop collection is a common, uh, which to me is really crazy. Like I said, I didn't think when I compiled this list it was going to be all valuable pops. Um, this one to me is just is well, well done, well executed, and it's one of my favorite characters out for right now. And that is the Todoroki from My Hero Academia. I just think this pop they did a really excellent job with it. Um, I don't have the glow in the dark one, which would have probably made the, the list in place of this if I had it. Um, but for right now, the Todoroki Common Edition to me is number two on my list. If you guys have not checked out My Hero Academia, you definitely should. It's one of the best animes I've ever seen. Really, really cool show, even if you're not necessarily into anime. Um, but this one, I just think they did a really good job with capturing all the details on the character with the two different eyes. You have the flame side of Todoroki for his father and the, the ice side for his mother. Really, really well executed. It doesn't look corny with the uh, translucent fire and translucent ice. They just got this one down. Um, for me, it's always been the details and execution of the pop. If you can tell out of the box who the pop person is, that's when I think they did a good job with the pops. And this is undeniable who this is and the details on it definitely make it unique and stands out in your collection. So number two for me is the Todoroki from My Hero Academia. All right, guys. So if you follow my YouTube channel at all, you probably can guess what the number one pop in my collection is. Of course, it has to be a Dragon Ball Z one. And if you've seen my videos in the past, I have mentioned before, this is probably my favorite in my collection. So at number one, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So funny story about this, I actually saw that GameStop was releasing this as an exclusive um, months before it dropped. I pre-ordered it, had no idea um, what the pop was going to look like, but it was Dragon Ball Z, so I had to get it anyways. And when I saw the glam shot for this, I was ecstatic. Um, and to see it in person, that was even more ecstatic. They did an excellent job with this pop. Um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show or not, um, but it was just an iconic time in my childhood when uh, Dragon Ball Z was on TV, um, Gohan, Goku, and all the others were fighting the Cell. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers, but somebody dies, and then Gohan saves the day and defeats Cell. Um, but there you go. This is just well executed. You have those lightning bolts around him. Um, the only thing could have made this even better, um, I know if you guys watch the show, Gohan, when he's Super Saiyan 2, actually ends up having one of his arms almost taken off and just hanging on the side. I think if they would have done that, it would a little graphic, but it still would have looked great to me. So, um, nonetheless, this is the number one pop in my collection. All the details on it, the story behind it, what it reminds me of, and just the overall epicness of this pop makes it the number one in my collection. So, like I said, I mean, total, I might have a little bit more value than Ariel did, um, but not all my top 10 most expensive pops were in my top 10 favorites. So, as I always say, buy what you like, um, collect what you like, and the value will be more to you than the monetary value ever would be. So, please let me know how you guys feel in the uh, comment section below what your favorite in my top 10 was. Let me know what your top 10 or favorite in your collection are. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As of shooting this video, I'm about 15 away um, from 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that giveaway announcement very, very soon. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.